Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name's Dad, how you doing today? Today we're covering a brand new family. Got a lot of messages about this one. It's called the Basham family. And apparently they got some dirt, some drama, everything going on. And, but they do this Q and A where they're gonna talk about being first time parents. They're not parents yet, but they're gonna talk about it of course. I guess they ask the question, will they exploit their children? And this is often actually how I come into contact with these new influencers because they do these Q and A's and it's because it's the hot topic, they all will ask this question and they all try to justify it. So let's hear what they have to say. Check it out. Get wrecked, yo. Boom, 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 boom. Do my own test shirts. So as you know, I'm moving my merch in-house so it's cheaper for you and me. And so I designed them. I got to, this one I got designed by uh, an artist on Fiverr. So you guys want some advice on how to do cool stuff. So I go to Fiverr because Fiverr has a lot of great artists. This guy I hired, it costs about $150 to design like this. I did the text. And he did the hand, this is a hand-drawn design. Well, digitally drawn, but it's hand-drawn, right? And so I asked him to do a picture of, my, of Gus. So I sent him a picture of Gus. I said, I need Gus to be angry, right? And so he did this in like two days. It looks so good. I think it looks good because I'm into metal shirts. And that's what I was going for here, metal shirts. So I got him to do that. And then I used a place called Supacolor. And I didn't even know this exists. It, it, they, they digitally transfer onto this type of clear paper. And then they put this like powder on the back that sticks to it. So it's like, I don't know how to explain it. It's a transfer, but it's not like your classic transfer. It's just the new technology is just better. So these aren't that cheap, but I got a bunch to test out. And Supacolor, they're not sponsoring this or anything like that. They are just real. This is a high quality print. So you guys going to make sure when I, when I put it up in my store, you guys order one. Okay. It's going to be great. Hand pressed by Kelsey herself, my shipper. Okay. So make sure you get that. Anyway, that's, I thought that was really cool. And the technology is just crazy because there's direct to garment printers where you can just put a garment in and it prints it onto the garment. I prefer that because I'd like to pull off the shirt color you want from the rack. You know, if you want a, uh, you want a crew or you want a hoodie or you want a t-shirt and whatever color, I pull that off and then press whatever you want on it. Like I love dad bods, you can get a chachi, world's okayest mom, uh, nana, you son of a bitch. All those things are gonna be ready. So you get to choose your color, the shirt you want, and then she just presses it and ships it. So that's just the best way to do it. So I'm excited about that. Get wrecked. So the Bashams, I know nothing about the Bashams. And this is how we always start. Okay, <laughs> the pit sticks and their overalls there. <laughs> That's funny. It sounds like the Bashams want me to bash them. You know what I'm saying? Because if you're gonna exploit children, you get bashed, you get snarked on. So Basham has 94.3 thousand subscribers. Now something tells me on TikTok, they're probably way bigger, sensey. So yeah, I mean, I don't know. They have almost 100,000 subscribers. How many views do they have? They have 8.7 million views. Not, they're not crazy viral or anything like that, but this is interesting because they're getting a lot of like attention right now and their channel is going to probably grow because they announced they're pregnant like everybody else announces they're pregnant. And so let me see, their most popular video is finding out I'm pregnant first time. I mean, it's only 160,000 views. So they capitalized on that. And that was two weeks ago was their most popular view. Their oldest video was four years ago, Grocery Haul, Trader Joe's, Sprouts, and more. And they were way younger then, and smaller. Um, she looks like, who's that? Your lips are moving. Uh, what's her name? Is her name Megan too? Anyway, whatever. I don't know if her name is Megan, but whatever. All this to say is that uh, what made them popular, what made them start to grow is this Finding on a video, it's such a weird phenomenon on YouTube and all the social medias. When someone announces they're pregnant, it's like every person that follows that, like here's the call of the horn, yeah, I'm pregnant, follow and subscribe these people. For what reason? It is so weird that this is what people flock to and there is no denying it. People absolutely flock to this content. It is highly payable. Okay, they make a lot of money and something tells me they've grown in subscribers over time because they announced their pregnancy. But they did this Q&A. And so we're gonna take a look at the Q&A. They have a Reddit thread that's actually pretty thriving right now too. I love Reddit threads, you guys know I love Reddit. You know I love Reddit. 
And so they got a thread with, oh my gosh. So Drew Basham bashing is on Reddit. I'll join that. And it's 11.3 thousand bashers in here. Damn. Basham family lie detectors. Like I must be missing. They must be big on TikTok or something. Cause they only have a hundred thousand on YouTube and they have 11,000 snarkers. Okay. So I'm not going to go through it all, but they're not very liked. Let's just say that. So let's, without further ado, let's see what they say about family vlogging and exploitation of children. Shall we? Okay. Let's do it. Welcome back, Bastion family. Damn! Oh, stop yelling! They're just like everybody has. What's up, Ace? <laughs> or what's up, dudes? Or welcome to, like, everybody needs to stop doing this. Piss off into the sun, okay? Stop doing this. You're not original. Maybe the first person who did it was probably like 100 years ago. Stop it. You're dumb and everybody hates you. Okay? Are we there? Also, what's with the haircut, dude? Do you play hockey or something in Canada? It's a no for me. It's just a no. Okay? Guys. Also, the mustache is a no for me as well. My friend, please listen. What's his name? Drew? No. I don't even know his, don't even know his name, but bro, bring it on in here, buddy. Just bring it a little tighter, a little tighter, a little tighter, a little tighter. One dude to another dude. Shave that off, okay? It is embarrassing. You're embarrassing yourself. You're embarrassing your family. You're embarrassing your dog, okay? And if you got a cross on your neck, looks like you may be Christian. You're embarrassing the Lord. Do not do this. Why are you... Are you out of your mind? At least you put a Sharpie or something. I don't know, do something else. That looks ridiculous. What is your hair? Like, I don't have any hair, but dang, it looks better than that. Go ahead, sit down, grab your body armor, because Drew's pretty. Oh, she's sponsored by body armor? I mean, usually it's coffee. Usually we would say, grab your nice coffee. Wow, they just yell a lot. This is going to be annoying in my brain. What are they, 18? And let's get into this chat. But iced coffee has officially left the chat. Like iced Oh, has it gone? Is it left? Can I drink coffee when you're pregnant? Ah! If I you if I yell, it sounds like important. She'll come down. Otherwise, she'll tell me to piss off. Hold on. Here she comes. Gus is coming too. It's all important. Can pregnant women drink coffee? Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you. Really? <laughs> What'd you think? Because I just had to make sure that you had to ask the question. <laughs> What even is iced coffee? I miss it so much. Well, let me tell you what iced coffee is, bad hair. You ready? Listen. It's this thing where you get coffee and you put it in some ice. Iced coffee. <laughs> I know. It's like, it's a new thing. Not everybody's out of the edge. It's just making its way. Shut up. I don't know. I really don't. Like, well, I don't like these people already. Like, already. Sometimes people redeem me like, oh, maybe they're cool. Let's take a look. Not from the get-go because of his hair. I'm like, no. It's been like three days now. And I got one from Starbucks today. And it's because it just doesn't taste the same. It just doesn't hit, it doesn't hit the same. But, okay, so you're allowed to have it because my wife said you are and she's a nurse. But you know what always hits? Freaking poppy, cherry limeade poppy. Poppy shouldn't drink that. Well, I had a, a members only live the other day. People are asking me about my weight loss journey and stuff like that. And I've, I used to weigh over 315 pounds. And, you know, I've been hovering around like 220 now for like the last seven years. <laughs> but people are like, what's the thing? Soda. Drop soda. It's one of the first things you should drop. Now, I've introduced a little bit of ginger ale back. And my wife's, well, yeah, you probably shouldn't do that. And so maybe I shouldn't. Because I stopped drinking my gin, my, uh, okay. Kathy says a limited amount of coffee. Could you have one iced coffee a day? Yeah. Yeah. That's what. One coffee a day is fine if you're pregnant. Not good, but like fine. It's fine. Not good, but fine. What was I saying earlier before that? I, I'm not allowed to drink Arnold. I thought I wasn't allowed to drink Arnold Palmer because when I went to the urologist, she said, hey, iced tea might be causing you some kidney stones. And like, I tell you this, if if the doctor were to say stop drinking water because it's causing kidney stones, I would stop drinking water. If he said stop breathing, I would stop breathing. That's how painful kidney stones are. So I dropped iced tea, which is the only thing I had left. So I brought back some ginger ale because, but I should probably stop too. Just saying. Soda. Don't drink soda. Um, actually, this strawberry grape body armor, if you can find it, it legit tastes legit like... Legit hands claw? A juicy juice. Like, you know Gosh. what I'm a juicy juice? This? It's so good. Okay, so... Wow, that's not, not good. 
So a few days ago, I had asked you guys over my Instagram. I'll pop my Instagram up on the screen if you guys don't follow me. Make sure to follow me and Gabe over there. Oh, sure. Because a lot of updates. Okay. Whatever that means. Will be over there as well. Okay. I asked you guys. To got a football player or something? Ask us some questions over there on Instagram, just about the beginning stages of pregnancy, how to like just any. No thanks. We're good. I'm ready. Okay, you're a prof you're a professional now. Is that what we're you, what you're saying? Question you might have. Um, she has hundreds of thousands of subscribers on Instagram, by the way. So I don't know where it's not YouTube that got famous. So somewhere else. They were all pregnancy questions. Even if you didn't want to ask a pregnancy question, we were going to answer it either way. I love when people do this and they, even if you didn't and they like blink. Even if you didn't, is there like air being shot into your eyes or something? Um. So let's get into those questions. So one of the main questions I got is how am I feeling and how is Gabe feeling? So I'm gonna let you go first. Who cares how he's feeling? Oh man, so the whole here we go. Thing in a nutshell, are these guys from the south? Well, here we go. Their haircut was it was complete and utter surprise. <laughs> Me and Drew had been Drew and I, Drew and I, braces. I don't, you know, trying to get pregnant since since really we got married. Look. Yeah. So it's not a surprise. So you've been trying. It's not a surprise. So when you say it's a total surprise, don't say it when you've been trying. You're like, hey, it was expected. Because we were trying. <laughs> Guys, that makes sense to you? Good. So already they're not professional. About a month or two into being married, we started trying, you know, to have a baby and extend our family even further than it already is. Mm-hmm. Mm this guy looks like the guy from Moana. You're welcome. And, um... You know, through my health and different things you get that you guys know about, um, with my pituitary tumor and everything, it just made things... Pituitary tumor. Okay. ...difficult. Um, and so me and Drew just prayed... Drew and I. ...to God every... Ah, oh, you prayed to God. Can we exploit children on the internet for money, God, please? He's like, you know what? You're right. You should exploit children. Here's some children to exploit. ...time, every month we tried, and we were just believing and trusting God that one day... Ah, they are definitely non-denominational churchgoers. Probably some mega church has a band of skinny... He might even play in the band. He would bless us with that uh, baby. Oh, the church talk! I hate it. So, I, I was actually it. out fishing when Drew found out she was pregnant. Um, I knew it was around the days that she would start testing after, you know, everything would happen. And anyways, I guess the way I feel about it, not only am I surprised and extremely happy, if you can't tell, I am just super thankful and grateful that God so the Lord. I blessed us. So the way I'm feeling... Well, here, take this from me, an ex-pastor. You guys are watching this. You clearly are going to be watching it. Hello to you two. Um, I'm an ex-pastor. I went to church, went to Bible college. Uh, and I'm not like not a real pastor. I was a worship pastor, but I worked at a church. I was clergy. Okay, I went to school for biblical hermeneutics. I studied at Bible college. Okay, not saying I know everything, but I'm saying I grew up like you guys in the world that you are in right now. I was you. Let let me be clear on this. And I think if you are Christians and you are Bible believing Christians, and it sounds like you might be. Okay, let me be clear on this stance. The Bible is absolutely against exposing children, exploiting children, profiting off children, and using them for clout and everything else. I promise you. I know the Bible doesn't say anything about Instagram and like all this because this stuff didn't exist, but I promise you this. Taking advantage of a child and putting them on the internet is dangerous, which means that you're putting your child in danger and you are sworn to protect your children. Okay? That's like biblical. God does not want you to exploit your children. Understand? All these Christians out here like Brants and everybody else speaking about the Lord in the same channel where they exploit children makes me so mad and it makes you a massive hypocrite. So just so we're clear, and these people are Bible-believing Christians that say they are, here's the scripture to back it up. And this is about every bit of child exploitation. Truly, I tell you, unless you change and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. That just means the innocence of children, which should be protected, right? We all agree on that, and that is not being protected when you put them online. Therefore, whoever takes the lowly position of this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. It means you protect children. I'm not saying that's where I'm going. <laughs> if anyone causes one of these little ones, those who believe in me, to stumble, which means to not protect them, it would be better for them to have a large millstone hung around their neck and to be drowned in the depths of the sea. If you don't protect children, literally the Bible says you should have a millstone hung around your neck and you should be dead. You should be killed. So if you need any more proof and you're a Christian, there you go, Matthew 18, 2-6. Just wanted to point that out if you are a Bible-believing child exploiter. So overly excited and happy to be able to experience this with my sweet wife. And this guy is going to be a pastor or something? 
push out a little baby. Yeah. I'm so excited for her to push out a little baby. I'm going to push out a little baby. Gonna, well, I don't like you guys at all. Listen to that. How are you feeling about being pregnant? And kind of like. Wow, I just, it's a little much. You know, just ready to just shut up. Well, I said, I, I'm, I, even I'm curious to know, and I think they are too, how, how are you not only feeling now, physically, but also emotionally, mentally? When they are sweaty tryhards. Relax, like teenagers would say. On God, bro, you're doing too much. Relax, ADD. You found out to now, and kind of the digression, or like the. Holy, I thought I was much. Digression. I guess whatever. So I guess. So whenever cuts. Initially, I was completely shocked. Like Gabe said, like. Cause Stop saying you were shocked when you were trying to have a baby. It's literally what you're trying to do. Stop it. Shut up. Shocked, surprised. Like, and people were like. Why are you shocked? Holy, the act in which we were attempting to have a baby worked. Shock. That's what you were trying to do! Shut, like, what are you shocked about? Why were you so surprised? Like, you know what happens when you're married and you do things, and it's like, yeah, I know, like, obviously. Well, yeah. Obviously. Uh, the fact that it actually worked and happened, and it just is, like, happening right okay, now. Okay, these people are not ready to be parents. That's, let's be real. If you're hearing that thing going, here's what's happening. Okay, story time. I cannot for the life of me figure out how to get this rink flooded. It is killing me. And I'm not paying $650 for a load of water. F off, water delivery guy, people who want to do that. You can kiss the inside of my butthole. Hey, not happening. So here's what I did. I went to Canadian Tire today and I bought a sprinkler. <laughs> I kid you not. And I'm just letting the sprinkler go for hours, like the whole night. I don't care because running water generally won't freeze unless it's like minus a million. But running water won't freeze. So far, so good. It's been going for about an hour and a half and it's just going. Just a lawn sprinkler. And I will let that go. But my well... It has to now pump water out of the well like every five seconds because I'm at, there's this big giant tank where the well pumps like the well gets pumped into this tank and then that tank gets fed to the house and then it fills it up fills it up that thing is running so now was just so shocking and so like exciting in the same way holy it is I, shocking that sex turned into a baby the beginning of my pregnancy was just over filled with fear yeah. and i wish that i wouldn't have been so fearful like i literally took a million pregnancies oh um, really? i literally yeah. was like just like shocked like i, I felt like it wasn't myself i was just like that can looks like one of those little cans in his hands like you know the little ones you get at walmart the little ones just like all the time like what's happening um and then i really didn't have any symptoms at first so that also made me feel like it wasn't real and then we went up we went up and got our first ultrasound yep and i had some symptoms where i was tired okay just fam relax and not feeling the best but now i'm feeling fully like i'm like okay girl you're pregnant like it's like guys like, <laughs> yeah and it's not anything it's not anything like different than what i've seen on the internet like i have really bad morning sickness and it does kind of carry out throughout the day if i don't get up and eat something like if i don't eat initially like in the morning i'm like in bed all day like but we've been doing me and him have been doing really good at like he's him and i been getting crackers yeah he and i he and i have been doing really good snacks if i'm hungry for something he goes and grabs it for me um those types of things like right now i feel like we're just trying to like learn like my body because it's obviously changing every day right this is the stupidest video i've already said this is i already hate it it's so stupid and so mainly just bruises. stop letting stupid people on the internet Bumping the camera. Just like I said, in the like humping the camera. That's nice. Initially shocked, excited, and now I'm just more excited and ready to like meet our baby and find out the gender and all those things. Which speaking of the gender, like when did the how how long far along did she like announce it? Twelve weeks or is it like did they announce it the moment they had the piss stick? And we found out today how we're going to be doing it, and I'm really excited. Are you excited? That was the most awkward high five I've ever seen. And yes, I am very excited. I am really excited. Initially, I think I think we kind of came like a good point in the middle. Yeah. Why are we yelling? Yeah. What are we gonna do now? Because I feel like we were gonna do it like a big gender reveal with our friends and our family and everything like that, and just really go big with it. Yeah. And then me and you also kind of came. You and I. Then you and I also. Stop. You guys are ew. Read a book. Came back and we're like, okay, what if we just did it me and you by ourselves? Yeah. You and I. And not really do and a then, reveal. And then Gabe was like, well, if we do it just me and you, I'm just gonna. Tyson knows, Tyson, whenever, even to this day, Tyson's almost 22 years old. And even to this day, if he does that, Tyson, do I correct you?
Even with my old children, you don't get away with it. So I'm definitely not letting them get away with it. Stop saying me, then the other. Don't. Don't do it. It's rude. And I was like, you don't want to do the cake. You don't want to do this. I'm like, pretty no. sure Tyson also doesn't know to piss me off. Like he, like, he knows what he should be doing, but he does it on purpose. I get it. Like, what's the point of spending money on stuff if it's just like opening email? So we kind of have been like sitting on, like not really knowing what we're going to do. And then today we were like, okay, we're doing we know that. We're, gonna do. we're doing that. So well, you got to do it for content. You know what you're going to do. You need to do it for content. Everything that, it sounds like everything that they're going to do now because their most popular video was a mounting pregnancy. And now they have to do what everybody else does. But, oh, gender reveal. Oh, look at her baby clothes we're buying. Oh, look at the nursery. Look at this. Oh, I'm eating this mukbang pregnancy video. Oh, what am I doing? We lost the baby? Question mark in the thumbnail. Like, they're going to do it all. You know it. Uh, rush to the hospital for this and that. Pray for our family. Right? They're all going to, you know, they're going to do that. They're just, it's just the beginning. They have the book. They're reading through it. <gasps> we booked it. So you guys will find out pretty soon. And we're really, really excited. We don't give two rats anuses about it. So it's kind of in between just opening an email and doing a big one. It's kind of like in the middle. In the middle. Every time this guy talks, I feel like it's like a winter. Like, oh my God. Like arms are flying. Like that's what it feels like. There's like a lot of wind coming out. Like he's got a good diaphragm. He's like, and I'm like, oh, yeah. like that Maxwell commercial. Like the sound speakers blowing everything. That's what I feel like. I think you guys will like it. Yep. Like we won't like it. Double question. Double question. What do you think Baby Basham is, and do you have a preference? What Who cares? Would you prefer? Okay. Deep down in my soul, in my heart, in your heart, in my heart. <laughs> I think it's a girl. You think it's a girl? I think it's a girl. Uh, this guy just talks so loud. Even the baby, who's probably this big, and her somebody's like, shut the hell up, dude. Mullet, stop it. Ever since you got pregnant. Try to sleep in here. Eating this energy drink she just fed me. I just had this feeling like, I think it's a girl. And I also heard. That's probably a boy then. You get morning sickness earlier if it's a female. Okay, this is so stupid. None of these things that people say are ever the thing. Ever, ever. It's never. That might be a, 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 a myth. I don't know. It is a myth. I don't really know. But I do feel like it's a girl. I'm going to take oh. that question and throw it back to you. <laughs> Intercept. Okay, so for me. I don't like these people. They are too much. They are just extra, extra. Personally, before I got pregnant, I would always say that I was going to be a boy mom, but I think I said that because I really wanted to be a girl mom. Like you said, like I've always wanted girls. Mm -hmm, makes sense. I was going to be a boy mom. And I said that because I wanted to be a girl mom. Thanks for like the logic lesson here. Like, <laughs> shut up. Shut the hell up. Okay. Boy mom, because my sister has all boys, and then like your sister had a boy, so I feel like also definitely all everybody's gonna be boys because everybody has boys, so it's all gonna be boys. It's just like boys, 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 and so I went and, and then I actually fell in love with like boy names. Like, I was just like, when I'd make my list of boy names, if you're like, <laughs> be real, parenting is amazing. Okay, I wish everybody who wants kids to have kids. But look at the reasons that they're like, okay, so I really fell in love with boy names. So let's talk about it. Like they're not even like, they have no idea what it's like to be parent. They, they are not ready. They sound like they're not going to be ready or ever. They are just, this is the juvenile version of playing house. And it, it's stop, stop allowing these people to get famous on the internet. Do not subscribe to them. I just love my boy names even more. And then at church one day I had a lady come up to me and basically say like she had a, a dream about me. But anyways, she told me that she had a dream about me and I had a little daughter and she had blonde hair and piggy tails and that she told me your time is coming. Like God is going to bless you one day with your baby. Don't worry. Your time is coming. That was like how many months ago? I don't know, but all of a sudden a month later you're pregnant. Um, no. <laughs> so she got a few months ago. It was, I want to say uh, three to four months ago and then I had a dream and I had a name in that dream and that name just stuck with me and it was a little girl's name if they say I'm manifesting a girl this pregnancy I am gonna be angry so then I went from thinking I was gonna be a boy mom to then thinking I was gonna be a girl mom because you had a dream of a girl's name 
Holy shnikes! It's giving Shannon Rose. No, who was it that's like her grandmother's an owl? Oh, Jet Sam. Jet Sam, all her dead relatives are flying around in the barn like, oh, we're here to save you. Stop this barn. Like, these are people that have crystals. They burn sage. They do all that weird stuff. They're like, dance in the rain. Get wrecked. I think I thought I would never be a mom. So now that I am, I... Her shirt says douchebag, just so you're aware. Because that's what they are. Genuinely, like, don't know. Oh, or Drew Basham. Like, everyone keeps telling me... I prefer douchebag. You're having a girl. Ha Dumb broad. <laughs> that's a good one. Dangly banglies. <laughs> <laughs> if you earned them, you earned them. If you know, you know. Dumb bum. Dumb bum's a good one. Don't breathe on me. That's what she's saying to her husband there. Doodly boodly. Dingbat. That's a good one. A lot of, what's your favorite DB word below? I'm a girl. Everyone keeps being like, oh, her. Like she, they call my stomach a her. Oh my gosh. This is so stupid. Who, like, stop. Oh, these people better not get famous. And like, make it seem like the baby in there is a girl, which we don't know yet. And so like, I don't really know. I don't care. Um, but I guess if I had to pick, like you said, like if God was like, you get to pick, I'd probably say a girl first. And There's the answer there. Got it. Thank you for the answer. That's it. We didn't need all that other bullshit. Okay. We didn't need it all. I guess if I had to pick, it would be a girl. The end. Thanks. And then it may be a little boy second. Yeah. But the thing is, is I'm so in love with our boy name and I'm so in love with our girl name that like I genuinely am just excited to know. Some That's like all you care about is a stinking name? Oh, my timers. Gotta check in the sprinkler soon. And start like praying over them with their name. Have That's so stupid. You guys are so weird and I don't like you. In their name, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> Yeah, like I should get like a fan. Every time I cover them now, I'm gonna get this like industrial fan. When he talks, I'm gonna turn it on. Me. <sighs> like if she doesn't even a blow dryer, she's like, "Come, honey, come t tell me a story." And he like talks, she just blow dries her hair. Thanks, thanks. And I'm gonna be really excited and not disappointed in any way. Ever. The heck was that? Yeah, exactly. I don't know he isn't even listening to what she said. Yeah, I'm, either way. I'm over the moon. Boy, girl, don't matter to me. Don't matter. Long as it's healthy. I have a lot of questions on what do we do different this cycle? And I will say this was a cycle we did the less, the least on because literally. Look at your literally. Look at my mustache. We did was you all we used was pre seed. I wouldn't even call that a mustache. It's like what do you call that? F Fang Lui. What's the Chinese mustache called? Fu Manchu. It's a Fu Manchu. Fong Wei, very similar, very close. And I will say we we use pre seed every time because just in case, like what if this is the time? So yeah. we would use pre seed. I don't know what they're talking about. Pre seed every time. What's pre seed? Pre seed fertility lubricant is a personal lubricant can be used in any time for vaginal moisturization and lubrication. Oh, I didn't know that existed. Now I know. Yay for my brain. Wow, pre seed. Does this guy look like he's happy she just said that? Yep. Guess my seed needed a little lubricant. <laughs> look at his face. I think we did this cycle. No, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Your seed is weak. That's what I mean. I think we did this cycle. Was used it needed a boost. Pre-seed and I always... So they're literally telling you that they literally lubed up her V on camera. And they go to church and stuff? That's... I think, is it, that's, that's pretty much literally it. Literally it. I mean, of course. He is uncomfort with this conversation. We trapped, like. Well, I know my cycle. Yeah, like, we, you know. we both know so, it. So, um, I mean, so, yeah, all we did was use pre seed, and then I've always take a prenatal, so I was taking prenatals, and so that was literally the only. Don't you take prenatals after you get pregnant? The thing was pre seed and prenatal, so. And, and it worked. And honestly, the biggest difference was me and Drew came together and we said, you know what? And I think this is why. We came in and we said, you know what? We've tried all the extra stuff. We've done the app. We've just literally called. <laughs> I'm, good. I'm up here Googling on my big screen up here. Is pre-seed personal lubricant is $30, $31 in Canada. And it is clinically tested to help support sperm quality. <laughs> I've never heard of this. Get it in conjunction with these pregnancy pee sticks. Okay. Let's see what the comments say about this. Hey, got pretty good reviews. Worth trying. Works just fine. Lubes help to conceive. How do you know? Like, how do you know you wouldn't conceive without the lube? 
This conversation is making me uncomfortable. The package arrived damaged. The lubricant was loose in the envelope, so I wouldn't use it. And after that, after worked on the first try. I'm not sure how I feel about using the app. There's applicators. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people telling, there's a lot of people in here talking about raw dogging. That's nice. Let's. All right. Done. Well, the palm juice. We've done everything. Palm juice. And we pretty much just said, God, we're trusting in you, and we want your will, and we want your way, and we're putting this in your hands. God, we trust you to do this and everything else. We just, it's all in your hands, but also, we're going to use this lubricant. <laughs> <laughs> that was that, and that was a month we got pregnant. We was always yeah. in God's hands. But you were always in a little pre But I think we were always just trying to do it ourselves as far as like using all this extra stuff to try. You did use extra stuff. Also, you do do it by yourself. What do you mean? Do you need help? I don't know what you're saying. To make it happen. Exactly. In the moment, uh, that usually works for some people. But the but moment for us, we stopped. Worked. The moment we stopped doing that and, and just said, you know what, God? Into the no, you just lied there, Mr. Liarface. The moment we stopped thinking about... Nope, you still used the pre-seed. Next question. How did I know I was pregnant? Because in the... Well, you took a pregnancy test. Video, Gabe said I knew it. My mom said I knew it. And then I kept saying I knew it. So, what happened was... is I I pissed on a stick and shoved the internet. I shown signs. Like, there was a lot of weird things happening. My mood. I was... There was owls flying everywhere. The crystals were lighting up on themselves. Like, Christmas lights were, like, getting fuzzier when I walked near them. It was weird. The dogs were peeing on the floor. You know, the toaster wouldn't work. Extra hungry. And then it was just... I felt really weird. Like, I You're kept, you were very fatigued. And, too. like, it was one of those things where, like, I... Felt like I had low blood sugar. I was hangry. Like, I was yeah. so hungry. Mm. I get that after pickleball. And so we kept saying, like, you're pregnant, you're pregnant. Well, I was 10 DPO, and I took the test that, that morning and that night. I don't know what that means either. Negative as can be. No line, no And nothing. then that's why I was upset, because I, the whole time I was thinking she was pregnant, the way she was acting, the way she was feeling. Like, my whole family was like, you're pregnant. We went on a family trip to Louisiana, and everyone was like, you're pregnant. I was like, no, I'm not. Like, y'all quit saying that, because I'm not. And then, literally, two days later, we find out. But, anyway, so what happened was... It was 10 DPO, and I took a test that morning and that night, and it was completely negative. And usually when you watch you said that already. videos, people find out at, like, 8 DPO. And I'm over here. I don't know what you're saying. You're at 10 with absolutely nothing. And then it's the next Evening. morning. I take a test. Gabe's getting ready to go fishing, and I'm getting ready to go have lunch with my friend. So I take a test, and I took one of the little cheapies, yeah. and I look at it, and I'm like, there's no way. There's, a there's no way that we've been trying to get pregnant and pregnant. There's no way. Well, that's, there is a way. A shadow on this. And it's, precede. So I bring it to Gabe, he's laying in bed, and he, has, he has his phone, he's looking at it with a flashlight, and he's like, babe, I don't want to like tell you that there's a shadow there, but I think there's a shadow there, but he's like, I don't want to get your hopes up, so just throw it away, don't even look at it, and we'll take another one tonight. And I was like, okay, yeah, sure, like whatever. So I just kind of talk. This is the stupidest story I've ever heard. They're just looking for, they're just monetized. That's all they're trying to monetize. It's so stupid. I hate people who tell stories. Like, I can tell stories. It's like, I know I can tell stories, okay? This story is trash. I stayed away. And then I got up and went fishing. And then I got up and I went live. I made my coffee. I got dressed. I made lies on the internet. I was getting my clothes on to go meet my friend for do you need to, to like people who tell stories like this okay i was doing this one redundant thing that we know we all do is getting clothes on to go outside really you're putting clothes on to go outside <laughs> that's so interesting what else did you next put some shoes on did you close the door behind you and you lock it <laughs> did you walk down the stairs get in your car close the door turn the key turn it on put it in reverse drive out maybe nicked another car on your way hit a garbage can maybe curbed it a bit what else Holy shit, just get to the good part. Lunch. And I um, just had it in me. It was just this weird feeling in me to like take another mm -hmm. test. Was it the owls? Did the owls tell you to take the test? And usually I don't take the um, first response test until like later in the cycle because those are one, expensive. And two, um, I think you get more of an accurate line on them mm -hmm. because the cheapy ones sometimes are like a blur. You're a blur. Burn. And I just kept looking. Is there a dog humping cardboard boxes? At the cheapy one I took that morning, and it had that like gray line. Yeah. And so what? No, I'm listening. 
Okay, and so I kept, I kept looking at it. I was like, okay, so I'll take a first response. And I haven't, been, I hadn't been, you know, That dog just jumped over the couch. That's some good vertical. So um, I just kept thinking about it. So I took the first response. And what was crazy is I didn't video any of my testing this Oh, time. no, I know. Like, I told myself, I was like, I'm not going to video. Because in my mind. And the crazy part was we actually got it on video. Yes. Yeah. So you did video it then, you idiot. So no, this they're lying to you. Again, they're lying to you because latest video, finding an pregnant first time mom. They're, we're calling her Lyo right now, right on this channel in 4K or 3, 420p. Because apparently they upload in like 420. They don't know how to render their videos. Okay. See, so. they're gonna talk about you. They're gonna use scripture to talk about this stuff, but they're not gonna use scripture to be called out for being child exploiters okay their quality they have it 1080 i don't think so i'm not never in post days so just do it for myself but so she's lying to you she's lying to you right there but i wasn't gonna i wasn't gonna, but we got it on video but you weren't recording so the thing was in my mind i was like i don't want to jinx it and i don't really believe in jinxing but i was like i don't want thinking to video nothing like i want to just test and then just be pregnant but for some reason i was like since there's this faint line i'm just gonna video it and so she knew they were pregnant, and so she's like, I'm going to be the next one because I know I'm pregnant. That's what they're doing. And they're lying to you. And then she just said the words, I wasn't going to record these. And then she still recorded it. So why even say the thing? Because you did record it, even though you said you didn't. And I videoed it, and it was there. And I didn't believe it because the line was so faint, and I watched so No, you knew you were pregnant before because you saw the second line on the cheapy test. So you videoed it this time because you knew you were going to be pregnant, and you're trying to get the reaction. You knew. They're lying to you. They're liars. Like... Everybody on earth, not just Christians, but it's worse when Christians do it. So many line progression videos, and I'm sure if you've tried to conceive, comment down below. Like on your two week wait, you literally look up like a single video possible. She's and double which makes it even harder. Makes it even worse because you compare mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. And then you mm -hmm, stash. Nobody's the same. Nobody's the same. And so then Shut up. So, um, I went ahead and saw that. So I ran to HB, y'all saw the video, tested, tested, tested. And then I think just recently in the last like two weeks, I've stopped testing. I've just been. What do you mean? Why would you keep testing if you know you're pregnant? Go to the doctor. Trusting in God and knowing that I'm pregnant and obviously. Did you not go to the doctor? After that? That's your next step. All the symptoms of being pregnant. Um, but I wanted to say if you're new pregnant and you have those doubts and you're testing like crazy, you're not alone. I am a Christian. I believe in God. Mm. I believe. In but you don't believe in God enough to not exploit children. Not being fearful, but I've. I was there, I was you, I was testing like crazy. Um, but the feeling of truly giving it to God, I will say is very freeing. Yeah. And also having a partner to pray with and be there for me, I will say I wouldn't be, wouldn't be so, I guess you would, I don't know how to say it, less fearful if I didn't have Gabe as my partner. Like I just wanna say like, thank you so much. Like I tell him every day, like him pep talking me and just constantly reminding me that God has me, like God wouldn't have taken us here if he wasn't gonna bless it, if he wasn't gonna do what he said he could. That's stupid. Stop saying this, Christians. Stop saying it. Because what you're telling every other Christian couple, and I'm just gonna leave this in the Christian world, is you're like, God wouldn't trust us. You think God trusts you to exploit a child? He knows what you're gonna do, so don't don't put that in the same sentence. Okay? You concede because that's what God wants us to do. Be fruitful, multiply. So shut up. Because when you say something like, you know, God gave that's it, what about the people God didn't bless who couldn't have children? So shut up, especially in the Christian world. Shut your pie hole. Just shut up do and so i feel like having gabe constantly remind me and being there for me has helped me so much and and eased my anxiety in this pregnancy and i just want to add that in like thank you so much i love you, I love you. Mm, can you shave this though please Thanks. just check it if you could and if you're there you're not like you have a duty as his wife to tell him hey dude don't go into public like that okay what you're gonna bring shame upon our family all right respect yourself it's a normal feeling. Uh, I just like a lot of people don't talk about it because once you find out you're pregnant, you're supposed to be happy. And I am happy. I'm over the moon. But the fear yeah. and the unknown. <laughs> something just happened like a dog knocked over something. It's still very scary. And it's okay to be scared, but it's also okay to give it to the Lord and let him take care of it. And like I said, I'm so glad that I did that. The biggest okay. question of the day. Oh, dun, dun, dun. I don't even know what it is. Are we 
Can you see the light in the mirror? Oh, just ask the question. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. I just now noticed that. That's embarrassing. In a show, no, our child's you, face on the internet. That's what you think is embarrassing? That. Not his mustache or his hair or your attitudes or yelling or your absolute craziness. You don't find that embarrassing, but you find, find the light in the mirror embarrassing? <laughs> Idiot. And how do we feel about that as a Christian and as, I guess, new parents? You first. Oh, me first. Oh, sorry, what was the question? <laughs> what was the question? We're going to show our child's face on the internet, oh, and how face. do we feel about that? So when she says show our child's face, what she's meaning to say is what everybody's talking about. Will you exploit your child on the internet? On your paid family blog, your channels, everything else. Will you use your child to make money, to grow your channel? And it already is happening. The kid's not even here yet. As a Christian and as, I guess, new parents. Uh, so if they answer, yes, we will, after saying, as a Christian, they have no understanding of theology. You first. Oh, me first. You put me on the spot. Okay, okay so here's my... Yeah, they had to cut that because he said something wrong first. Opinion on you. So, I feel like... Don't say only on when you have a mustache like that. Okay. okay. There's a big difference between showing your child on the internet and exploiting your child children. Agreed. Under two circumstances. One, you're not already hugely famous, quote-unquote, on the internet. You're not influencers already. Okay? So, normal people posting pictures of the kids on the internet, not a big deal. Still, I shouldn't do it. But it's okay. You're not making money, okay? But you guys are out of that category, so you don't get to say that anymore. You guys, she has like something like 300,000 subscribers on Instagram. You guys have 100,000 on YouTube. He's got 35,000 on, on Instagram as well. I don't even know what their TikTok is. I'm sure it's lots. So already, nope, that's it, done. There, that is completely different. It's different if you guys weren't that. So it's not different. Exploitation really just happens when your child is used to make money for you. It really is. Really, that's all it is. Just because you show your child's face does not mean you're exploiting your child. Agreed. Unless you're influencers with expo exposing your child to hundreds of thousands of people. That's different. And let, let's say they're not even, like they're already capitalizing on it. So there's no question that they are going to and it will happen because they make money on their platforms because it's what's probably what they do full time, which is crazy to me because they're really bad. Okay, but he's right. Just showing your child is not exploitation. It really isn't. Privacy concerns, danger, all that stuff is, that's not exploiting. That's dangerous. That's a whole different category. That's number one. Also, now, let's talk about exploitation. We're not going to, me and Jordan have no mm -hmm. desire to exploit our child. We had our uh, social media stuff going before we were even married. Uh, page 475 of the Family Vlogger Excuse Book. We were already famous before kids came along. We didn't need them then. We don't need them now. <laughs> but watch their channel grow and they have babies. Okay? I don't care if you had fame before kids. It's what you do after. Which is why Shane Dawson and his douchebag husband shouldn't have done that. Trisha Paytas shouldn't have done it. Colleen Ballinger. Nobody should have done it. They didn't need to. You're right. You didn't. So don't, you don't need to do it. There are so many famous influencers out there who have chosen to have children and not show them. That deserves respect. You're stupid. Well before we had a child, so. You do still don't have a child. I really don't see a huge shift in our content to be. Um, maybe, yeah, we'll have a kid in our videos concerning our baby and it's our- So what you're telling us is yes, we will be exploiting our child for content, because look at their last four videos. Literally all about this. Because they're growing because of it. Their algorithm is hitting. It's They've been on the internet for four years on YouTube, and th this is the most popular video that just happened two weeks ago. Life, yeah. but it's not gonna switch from our life to, okay, this is- the life of, baby. of our baby. Yeah. So she just, hear them out. You hear them here. They said it. We are not gonna do things like day in the life of our baby, right? And maybe they won't, but they'll do day in the life of a new mom and a new dad, day in the life, going to church. They will. And look, if they just show their baby in passing, okay, cool. I won't, I won't come for you. I will not come for you. If you give your baby's name away on the internet, if you show them a lot, and it's like content with your baby doing things, because they're going to make this excuse when they get called out for it later. They're going to, because they're lying right now. They're going to get called out for it because they are going to make content like day in the life of a new mom. And they're going to be like, no, it wasn't baby, it's mom. But your baby's in it. 
right? If you do breastfeeding pictures, if you're going to do all that stuff, your baby is going to be part of your family and you guys are on the internet and you're going to say, well, we're here. So the baby has to be here. That's how they're going to justify it. But hear what she just said there. And we will hold her accountable. It is now on my channel. What did my baby eat today? No, it's not. Oh, you're not? Okay. I do stuff like that. And we'll see. I feel like, and if there's people that do that, they're the parent and that's their wishes. Yeah. And they always follow it up with this too. Well, there's people who do that and that's their wishes. Blah, blah, blah. You're going to do it too, mustache. You're going to do it too. And they have, you know, every right to do what they want to do with their kid. Um, but for me personally, and I know for Drew as well, we do not plan on exploiting our children at all. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. But that comes to like this. Th <laughs> Cut. The next question, which I feel like is kind of like the same. Why did she answer the question? question itself talking about the baby talking about our life me they've been answering each question separately until that question interesting and gabe social media is so different than others there's people that are influencers there's people that are content creators and i feel like we are just lifestyle people okay you're stupid for saying that because I feel like there's influencers and content creators and we are like influencer content creators. So, you know, we're different. No, you're not. You're like everybody else. Everything's beige. We post our life. Like there's no- That's what influencers do, butthole. Not any like rhyme or reason to our postings. Like- Doesn't mean you're not a content creator. What is she, this, this logic. I hope you don't pass this down to your child. I hope they get better genes. I post my coffee. I post what we eat for dinner. I post what we do. I post a shop. Yes. You do what every influencer does, butthole. Every single one of them does what you just mentioned. Do. It's pretty much everything. just everything. So like yes! Like everyone else! Our what? videos aren't going to change. Like, I got a comment like saying, is this going to be about being a mom now? Is your content going to be mom content now? Um, and the thing is, is I don't really know where it's going to go. But yes, it's she's what she's saying is yes. Yes, it will be. Because look at their videos for the last two weeks. Like, I don't know if it will. Are you sure about that? Are you sure? Soon as they found out having a baby, all about babies. So you're sure? What a bunch of liars. But I personally don't feel like it's changed that much. I feel like we're still kind of showing the same thing. No, you're not. Your last whole set of videos has nothing to do with your old set of videos. It's all now about being pregnant. So you're lying and we can see it instantly. You idiot. And I kind of like what Gabe said is our content is going to maybe shift a little bit because we're going to have a baby, but it's still going to be the same things. No, it's not. It's going to be about the baby. Taste test, hanging out, our everyday lives, cooking, dinner, love, cooking you know, those type go of things. With a baby. Um, you know, you know, going out and having fun with friends, you know, all yeah. stuff. You have friends? So the same thing show. we usually do, we'll just have a baby now. We'll just have a plus and, one. And if I'm not feeling well that day, we're going to talk about... We'll just have a plus one, he says. Okay. How I'm feeling that day. So I feel like... So she's telling you what you need to hear. So if like I'm having a problem as a mom, I'm just going to tell you what I'm feeling that day. So yes, the answer is effing a resounding yes. We are going to exploit this child on the internet. You're going to know its name. You're going to know where we're going to be. You're going to see it grow up and develop and everything. Eat dinner with us. You know, day in the life of. You're yes. The answer is yes. Content really isn't going to change per se. It's just going to be. It's just going to change. This excuse is so stupid. Is their content isn't really going to change. You just said it was going to change. You're gonna have a baby and like, it's not gonna change, but the baby's gonna be in that content. So yes, you will. You can keep that baby protected and not change your content. All you have to say is, look, we're not gonna show you our baby. You're not gonna know our baby's name. You're not gonna know anything about it. You're gonna know when the baby's born, say hello, then you're not gonna see this baby because we value our baby's privacy. We value the baby's choice to be private. We value the baby's safety. So you will not see them and we're gonna continue on with the content that you came here for. But. The content that people are now coming for is the most popular stuff, is the pregnancy stuff. And so they are capitalizing on that. Don't listen to them, they're lying. New chapter. This is a new chapter. Kind of like going from being in high school, because we started when we were in high school. High school. Okay, Kira, stop interrupting him. Well, then we got engaged, then we got married, married, and then now this is the next chapter. Wow, is that what happens after engagement? This is the next stage. Because, because this is just, a, this is really a documentation of me and his life. Yeah. And the different stages we're in. Just like you said, like looking at us now and then going back to our first YouTube video two or three or four years ago. Five years ago. Okay, five years ago. I don't know. And <laughs> it, it's a huge, we're not even the same people. Literally. Before. When I go back and watch our- Let I'm like, Stop yelling. Girl. Oh, our, we're, diff we're different people. Yeah, in a good way. In a good way. We've grown, we've learned, we've, we've matured. There's a lot of things that have changed. I agree. And I feel like that our content will continue to mature and change as we mature and change, but not, not just because you're pregnant or something, we're gonna- Hey, you guys are really bad at this. And then when you do show your baby and exploit the child, 
we're coming for you. Uh, Explore our child. That, yeah, I, yeah. It, you know, so. And if they don't, I promise I will take this video down. It's not going to be all about a baby now. It's not going to be all about Drew being a mom now. It's literally all about being pregnant right now. So, like, okay, we believe you. We don't believe you. Uh, yeah. It's so they're telling us. It's going to be like the thing we've been doing all along. But their last two, three weeks, maybe a month, has, like, how long has it been? They're such, they're such liars. As of four weeks ago, they did the pizza night. They did, we went to an expo one month ago. Uh, Gabe's Man Cave. Uh, we got tattoos. Like, this is this is their original content, which got no views. 6K, 9,000, 6K. They were not making any views. Nothing. Get pregnant, 82,000? Interesting. Finding out I'm pregnant, 160,000? 100,000, 100,000. They went from five, 6,000 to hundreds of thousands of views. Like, we're gonna go, you're going to go back to the way it was? Doesn't look like it gets for the last month you have it. So stop lying. Yeah, damn liars. It's so easy to prove you wrong. Too. It's just, it be, you're not good at this. And it might be like six videos of us going to the doctor's appointment, and then we're going to do like 10 videos of us cooking, you know? No, you're not. It's going to be all about the baby. But you know, yeah. we don't know. It's, a good, it's a good mixture. We're gonna do no, it's not. You're lying. Good mixture. We're not going to just explain. It's not a good mixture now. You're. They were making zero views, almost. And then all of a sudden, baby came along, hundreds of thousands of views. You think they're, they're, they're gonna go back to the other stuff that wasn't getting views? My baby, because I'm already having a hard time sharing my baby. Like, I don't wanna show. Yeah, it really, really looks like you're struggling showing your baby when your pregnancy videos for the last month just like absolutely capitalizing. Real, <laughs> just, you definitely proved me wrong. Oh, nobody, like, any videos. I don't keep, I don't wanna show Gabe. I'm like, it's my baby. <laughs> Stay in school, kids. I'm just kidding. Guys, this is the end of the video. We didn't get into too many questions because me and Drew both like to ramble. Drew and I! We're a ramble bamble. We really are. <laughs> but guys, if you have any more questions, are. questions for us pertaining to the pregnancy or pertaining to anything, anything, oh, no. anything, Hello. comment down below. Put them in the comment section. Um, we would love to answer some more questions. On they have 11,000 snarkers. No Q&A video. If you guys enjoyed this video, we love you guys so much. We are so grateful and thankful for everything you guys have said and done for us the last few weeks. Ew, we kissed you with the mustache. Thanks. You guys have been over kind to us in the comments and just in the DM. Because <laughs> you delete negative comments. Yeah, what are the comments on this video? Are you been over kind to me in the comments? Okay, let's take a look. Okay, so they have 97 comments on a 43,000 view video. Hmm, interesting. Wouldn't be going on a blocking spree, would you? Let's download that video. No downvotes yet. Well, here you go. Enjoy mine. How are they not getting any downvotes, but they have 11,000 snarkers? Okay. You guys are narcissistic. JC, holy shit. They didn't get to that comment in time. Yeah, they just they delete comments. That's what, that's what everybody does on YouTube. I'm not gonna, that's what we do. Anyway, that was garbage. But you heard it here, everybody. They said they are not going to exploit children. They're not going to do it. We already see that they really are capitalizing and transform their content because the thing that makes them the views is what they're going to capitalize on. They're not going to go back to the thing that we're making them views. Okay? It's not happening. So we will follow them and see where it goes. I did reach out to her and said, hey, look, you have any comments on this? And I always give people a chance to, to message me back. I said, hey, Drew, I'll be covering your Q&A video, but whether or not you'll be exploiting your child, any comments on why you wouldn't protect this kid online? Are you aware of the many dangers facing today's generation of kid influencers? Nothing back. I'm sure they won't. But there you go, everybody. Thank you for sending me that video. That was actually an interesting one. A lot of people sent me that. Quite interesting. Thank you. And I like covering new people, so send them along. And if it piques my interest, I definitely will cover it. Everybody, take a deep, whatever his name is, breath. <laughs> ah! Holy, he yells a lot. It's a big voice there. Big old voice. Thank you for being here, guys. Thank you for being amazing. You are incredible. You need to be here. Your kids need you. Protect your kids with everything you have. And I will see you when I see you.